What is up YouTube? And I'm here to just make a video about my gaming system. The PS3 only. I have GameCube and PS2, but I'm gonna just show you all the games that I have for my PS3. And the first one is Killzone 2. It was fun for like a month, maybe. I don't know, the, the mission, the story mode was pretty fun. It took a while to beat. Actually, it was pretty quick, I don't know. I don't remember, I beat it a long time ago, like sometime in 2009. I think that's when it came out. And then, yeah, Killzone 2 is pretty good. And then World at War, not my game. Barely play it. My cousins borrowed it. I don't know. I just like Modern Warfare games better than these type. I don't know. Treyarch is not that great to me. But I need to get Black Ops, so everybody made a move to that. That's still like a Modern Warfare type of thing. Tony Hawk's Project 8. This is when I first got the PS3. Sometime around then. This game was fun until they started making better quality games. Teenage Impact. I thought it was going to be a cool, sick game, but it turned out to be like very crappy. Wait, is my camera even on? Let me check. Oh, it's on record. Okay. TNA Impact. Yeah. So, recommend you not to buy this game. Unless you like wrestling and you don't care if it sucks or not and you want to play it. It's alright. It has like good characters and everything. Like, see? The back. Everything's cool, but once you play it, the moves suck. Like, there's barely any moves. They all do the same thing, and pretty much not a good game. So, come Confrontation, U.S. Navy SEALs. It was alright. I don't really like the third person type of thing. I don't know if you can make it into first person, but it's like third person or something, dude. It's only an online game, too. You can't play no story mode, no nothing. It's only an online game. You have to have internet to play, I think. I haven't really got on it so much to know about it. Sony Ray Rainbow Six Vegas 2 was freaking awesome. Back then, I used to play with my clan, AVN, Asphalt by Nature. Uh, shout out to them. Sirius Black, Triple Six. Everyone else. Black ESR9, Sergeant West. Everybody else that was in it. Laser Gun Pew Pew was in it, I think. Unless he was in his own clan. I don't remember. For real, was in our clan. Yeah. Big shout out to them. This game was awesome until Call of Duty came out, Modern Warfare 2. That game was changed me. WWE Legends of WrestleMania. Let's see, let's talk about this. This game took forever to get the freaking, freaking what's it called? The Platinum Trophy. I got the Platinum Trophy for it. So it's like, yeah, I got excited when I did it. And then I got bored of the game because all the moves suck. To tell you the truth, they do. SmackDown vs. Raw games are better. Recommend you to buy that just to play for the trophy and then don't play it no more. Smackdown vs. Raw 2010. It was fun for Road to WrestleMania and what else? Um, Road to WrestleMania and um, that was pretty much it. Online's not that great. I don't play online since 07. Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 was fun online. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is what I usually usually play. It gives you freaking. It's like. Gives you a hard time when you play though, cause like noob tubers, commando, campers, boosters, hackers, stuff like that, dude. This game is so annoying. It was fun for a few months, and then people start figuring everything out, and they start camping, boosting for nukes, everything like that, you know. Until World of or Black Ops came out. So I don't know how that really much is. I played on played on Xbox at a friend's house. No, I want to buy it still, but I don't got money. Skate two. Skate 2 was fun. It was really fun. Story mode. It was alright. Yeah, and then I got the Platinum Trophy for this too. This was my first... I think it was my first Platinum Trophy. Yeah, it was my first Platinum Trophy. Yeah, and then Legends of WrestleMania was my second Platinum. And Skate 2 was fun. Online is fun too. Until Skate 3 came out. Skate 3 wasn't that great, but I have that too. Anyways, I like Skate 2 better, but yeah. And then SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Like the same as 2010. Road to WrestleMania is good. But other than that, it's no fun online. I mean, it's alright online, but so much lag and all that crap and the same moves. What the, what's it called? When people use the cheap ass moves, like the headbutt, the stupid kick, you can't reverse some of those moves. It's like impossible. And then you can't even do most of the grapple moves because they don't let you do it. It's like, it's easy to block moves. That's why I don't play these wrestling games no more. 2008, yeah, same thing as the. 09 and 2010. That's pretty much it. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog is pretty hard to play. Like, 
to beat. Seriously, like even with two players, it's kind of hard to beat because if you die, you start all the way over. You can't even start from where you died. Like you have to start all the way over from the beginning. And uh, uh, it's a fun game, you know. It's fun, but I don't know. I get bored of it pretty easy now. Just playing by yourself. It's fun to play with two more, two people. Yeah, two people. It's only a two-player game. One to two players. And yeah, it's pretty fun with two people. Skate three. It's pretty fun, but you get bored of it because yeah, uh, I'm not much of a skating game no more. I'm into the shooting game, the first-person shooters, and all that. So Skate 3 is alright. It's like Skate 2, but improved and everything. But Skate 2, I, I recommend Skate 2 over Skate 3, but it's, it's a good game. Still need to work on trophies for that. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. Let's see. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. This game freaking glitches out now since I don't know what the heck happened to it. But it's only this one, because, yeah. Um... I used to have World Tour, but my friend got that stolen because we were borrowing each other's game. Like, I was borrowing this from him, and he was borrowing that from me, but that got stolen, so now he gave me this, and this game sucks. I like World Tour better because it has better songs, in my opinion, but Legends of Rock 3, it's alright. Freaking World Tour was new, too. And then UFC 2010. I do not like it. I don't like it. I mean, the graphics, everything's cool about it, but I don't like it. I don't know too much it's like the freaking what's it called the uh, career no one of those modes freaking annoys the crap out of me this game really frustrates me it makes me want to break my controller or something like slam something seriously it's a fun game if you like USC but yeah USC 2009 undisputed was really fun because I could submit people easier on this game than 2010 but still get bored of this game too I got more trophies on this game than that game but still yeah oh yeah in SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 I got all the trophies I got the platinum and that's pretty much all my games for PS3. And uh, I got the old PS3, the fat one, where you can play PS2 games that has less memory, and I think, than the other ones. I don't know. But yeah, I got a red controller, a black controller. Black controller is broken with analog sticks because it's not a dual shock. It came with the PS3. And then the gray one, it's broken, R2 button. Slammed it when I got pissed off at a game. I think it was on Call of Duty. Because <laughs> I was trying to nuke and I got died at 24 kill streak. I should have used Hardline, but oh well. Anyways. That's my gaming system, and um, this video is probably boring for you guys, but I just wanted to show you my gaming system. Well, not the system, but like the games that I play and that I own, that I don't play. And yeah, pretty much, I still want Black Ops, though. If anyone's willing to give me Black Ops, hit me up. Anyways, peace out, subscribe.